Hi, I'm Laura, and today I'm going to be making homemade pasta. And today we're going to make homemade pasta without any eggs at all. So to start, the most important part of making pasta is pasta flour. So we're going to start with something called semolina flour. This is called pasta flour. It can be a mix of semolina or durum flour. But you can get this at the grocery store. We're going to do equal parts of all-purpose flour and pasta flour. This is a very, very fine meal. You can see it's very light, so it's very great for pasta. We're going to do two cups of each. You always want equal parts here. Just kind of scant. Doesn't have to be really exact. Two of those. We're going to mix it together with a fork a little bit. Combine them. Okay, so once you've got them all mixed together, you're going to make a well in the middle. Just use your hands. Kind of make a little hole in the middle there. And we're going to add some cold water. So you're going to start with about three quarters of a cup, right into the middle, and then use a fork and just mix together as you go around. Just kind of go in little circles and slowly incorporate the flowers into the water. You don't want to overwork it, but you're just going to mix it together, and you'll see a dough is going to start to form. So I can see a little, I need a little bit more water here. And it's going to keep on mixing it until it becomes a dough. And then you can just kind of get in there with your hands. It's a lot easier to mix it up that way. Just like this, you're going to see that it's starting to come together. It's going to keep adding water a little bit at a time. Better add a little too little than too much. Okay, so now that I have it as a dough, I'm going to take it out, put it on my silpat mat here. Let's get all that extra flour off. And these are great because nothing sticks to these mats. So we're going to knead it for about five minutes, which means it's going to go down and up and then twist. Down and over and twist. And you're just going to keep doing that for about five minutes until it's smooth and elastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it in some plastic wrap and let it sit for about half an hour. Just let the glutens rest. It's like we've given it a massage and the love we give to it, it will give back to us once we let it rest. And then we can roll it out and shape it into our pasta. So now that our pasta dough has been resting for half an hour, it's nice and soft, but the glutens have loosened up a little bit, so it'll be easier to roll out. We want to flour our board a little bit. No point in making pasta if you can't get it off the board. A little more flour on top. So use a bench scraper, or you can use a knife if you don't have one. And just cut it in half, and in half again. So we can deal with one little section at a time. So with each one, what we're going to do is roll it out into like a half inch log. You can just kind of squeeze and stretch it. If it gets a little too long, you can just cut it in half and do one part at a time. Okay, so once you have it like this, I'm just going to give it a little whack. You can play with it a little bit. We're going to cut it into little pieces about this size. And then once you have each one, you're going to roll it into a ball. And then, so this is called orecchetti, this shape. You're going to put your thumb in and drag it back. And you get this little kind of half moonish kind of shape. Put it down and roll it in. I'm just going to keep doing that to the rest of the dough. Okay, so I'm just finishing off rolling my pasta into this shape. This is the orecchetti shape, which is great when you're making homemade pasta because you don't even need a pasta maker. You just roll it out with your hands. So now that I've got all of my pasta set, dusted it with a little bit of flour so that it doesn't stick, especially when you drop it into the water. And there you go, your pasta dough is all done. So what is a pasta without a sauce? The sauce is the most important part of any pasta dish. So to start with our yummy sauce, we'll start with some leeks. And they're kind of like an onion, they've got an oniony flavor to them. 
But the thing about leeks is that they grow in layers, like an onion. You can see all these layers in there, but dirt grows in those layers. So you definitely don't want that in your dish. So what I'm just gonna do is slice it up, and then I'm gonna put it into some water. I kind of separate the layers in the water, and any dirt that's in there is gonna sink to the bottom, and then you can remove the dirt, and then you don't have it in your dish. You don't want to move this around or judge it at all, because then the dirt is going to get right back into it. So you want to let it settle to the bottom, let it sit for a few minutes, and then you can get it out. Get it all in there. Okay, let it sit for a few minutes. In the meantime, we're going to start on our garlic, another very important component of this sauce. So we've got a few cloves of garlic here, and I'm just going to use my microplane, my favorite tool, and just rub it on there, and then it turns into a paste. And do that to all three of these. This helps the garlic get evenly dispersed all throughout your dish. You don't get giant chunks of raw garlic. Just give it a tap. It all comes off the back. And you just put that into a bowl and reserve that for later. Garlic does not need to cook for very long, so it's one of the last things we're going to add. And with the garlic, we need some fresh herbs. So this is some fresh thyme I have here. And you just want to pull the leaves off the stem like this. And it just comes right off. You just pull it the opposite way that it grows. This, you just pull it down very gently. And if you don't have fresh thyme, you could also use dried thyme. You want to use a little less of it because it's a lot stronger when it's dried. We're going to get like a, about a teaspoon total. A little bit more, a little bit less. And if you can get it, this thyme we picked from our local farm, so it's even fresher. But the store one is great too. It's also picked fresh. But if you pick it yourself, it's always a little bit better. Just so want to give it a little rough chop. It breaks it down a little bit more and the flavors get released. And then just put it in with your garlic. We're also going to use a lemon for our sauce. It adds a really nice brightness and freshness. Got a lemon juicer here. We're just going to do the juice of one lemon. Give it a good squeeze. And the other half. This is a very juicy lemon. When you can get them in season, they've got a lot more juice. And if you're finding that you're not, doesn't feel very heavy, you know that when it's a heavy lemon, it's got a lot of juice in it, you can roll it on the counter a little bit or even put it in the microwave for a few seconds and that will get a lot more juice out of it for you. There you go. Now let's get cooking. So now we're gonna get started on this sauce. So we got these leeks that we've chopped up. I've got some butter and some olive oil melted in here. I'm gonna add those in. And give it a good stir. Turn that heat up. And get that kind of softening. It's gonna take up a few minutes. Just stir it every now and then. The butter adds great flavor and the olive oil keeps the butter from burning. Okay, so the leeks have been sauteing for a few minutes. You can just give it a little flip if you want. Now we're gonna add the garlic and the thyme that we cut up. Get that sauteing a little bit. And we're gonna add our salt and pepper. You measure it in your hand. A few cracks of pepper. Now we're gonna add that lemon juice. And we're gonna also add some chicken stock for the body of the sauce. And then get that simmering. Okay, so we're almost done with our sauce. We're just gonna add some frozen peas. Add them straight from the freezer. They'll thaw out in here. Adds a really nice color. Give it a quick stir. Now we're gonna get started on the pasta. Got some boiling water. Let's kind of loosen up your pasta a little bit. You don't want them sticking together. And then slowly drop them in. Kind of separate it as you go. Careful of the splash in boiling water. There you go. Give it a good stir. They're gonna to start to float to the top when they're ready. It's gonna take about seven to eight minutes. 
So now that our pasta is almost done cooking, time to finish up the sauce. So you're gonna finish it off with a little bit of cream and some Parmesan cheese. Give that a good stir. You're just gonna heat it just enough to heat up the cream. Okay, so our pasta is done. It's all floated to the top. So we're just gonna drain it. And back into the pot. And now it's time to add the sauce. And give it a stir. Spoon some up. Mm. You got that garlic flavor, tender homemade pasta, nothing beats it. Hope you enjoy it.